So here, we need to work out 150 divided by 3. We know that to divide, we can count up in steps of the divisor until we get to the dividend. But it would take us a long time to count up in steps of 3 until we reached 150. So instead, let's count up in 10 steps of 3, so in steps of 30. 10 threes are 30. Then if we count on another 10 threes, we have another 30, so that takes us to 60. Another 10 threes takes us to 90. Then we have 120. And then another 10 threes takes us to our dividend, takes us to 150. So altogether, we counted on 10 steps of 3 five times. So that's 50 steps of 3. So our answer is 50. And we can see that if we know that 15 divided by 3 is 5, then 15 tens divided by 3 is 5 tens. So 150 divided by 3 is 50. We could also think of 150 divided by 3 as sharing 105 tens, so that's 150, between three groups. But we can't share out our 100, because when we divide by sharing, we need the same amount in each group. So instead, we need to break up our 100 into 10 tens. That now gives us 15 tens altogether. And we can see that when we share out those 15 tens, when we share out 150, we have 5 tens in each group. So 150 divided by 3 is 50. So what is 210 divided by 3? Well, 10 times 3 is 30, so let's count up in steps of 10 times 3, in steps of 30. We have 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and 210. So we counted 7 steps of 10 times 3, and because 7 tens is 70, we know that 210 divided by 3 is 70. And again, we can see that if we know that 21 divided by 3 is 7, then 210, that's 21 tens, divided by 3 is 7 tens. So 210 divided by 3 is 70. We could also think of 210 divided by 3 as sharing 200s and 110, so that's 210, between 3 groups. But we know that we can't share out what we have like this, because when we divide by sharing, we need the same amount in each group. So instead, we need to break up each of our hundreds into 10 tens. That now gives us 21 tens altogether. And we can see that when we share out those 21 tens, when we share out 210, we have 7 tens in each group. So 210 divided by 3 is 70.